Blessings, friends. Leave a love and light bracket. Hope you guys are having a good day. And what, friends? And what, dude? Dragon's pet. Communication between species, animals, pets, magical companions, guardianship. So, all right, find your fucking spirit animal, friends. Find your motherfucking spirit animal, dudes. I don't really motherfucking know about that shit, friends. I don't know uh, what my spirit, spirit animal is, if I motherfucking have one or whatever. But um, I know that fucking pets will raise your vibration, friends. Pets will raise your fucking vibration. That shit's unconditional love, friends. Unconditional love, dude. I think that kitty cats are spiritual protectors, friends. I fucking think that shit, dude. But all right, fucking anyway, dudes. Uh, I was going to come on and do a live last night, friends. I was going to come on and do a motherfucking live last night, dude. But, uh, you know, I was like, fuck it. Wait till you're fucking a little bigger, dude. A little fucking... What, it's going to be more than just you and the motherfucking police, dude. What, it's going to be more than just you and those motherfuckers. But I was going to come on because one of my fucking friends was passing off big feelings to Leela fucking D, dude. Making me laugh and shit, friends. Making me laugh and shit, dude. But, yeah, pretty freaking, I mean, at some point, friends, at some point, you you might see a couple of motherfuckers around here walking around with some fucking shaved heads and shit, you know. Don't know, they're, they're probably not allowed to fucking smash shit, but they'll probably go somewhere and shoot some shit or fucking whatever, dudes. Motherfucking whatever, yo. Uh, but, yeah, Officer Harris came over my house again. Yes, hold on, friends. But yeah, Officer Harris came over to my house yesterday and freaking, you know, talking about the shit that my kids did at the fucking youth center, which I was obviously fucking shocked and appalled, friends. Shocked and motherfucking appalled, dude. Uh, but yeah, he was telling me anyway, he was like, oh yeah, dude, a bunch of people saw uh, your kids fucking uh, throwing rocks into the road or fucking whatever, dude. I even said something to them, dude. I even said something to them, yo. This was happening for a few days, dude. I was like, well, no one fucking told me this shit, yo. No one motherfucking told me this shit. That's some fucking valuable information, man. You could be freaking passing that shit to me as it happens, yo. Just like freaking, um, when they, when they did that shit at the school, friends. I didn't even fucking find out about that shit till over a week later, friends. Till over a fucking week later, dudes. When the fucking tall one, when I met the tall one for the first time, friends, when he fucking stepped out of the car with his big goddamn feelings, yo. Big motherfucking feelings. I was like, why didn't anyone fucking tell me this shit? I don't even know what he said. But basically, it's fucking your fault, friends. It's basically fucking your fault, dude. Uh, no, but freaking, oh, you know how it is, friends. Big bad motherfucking Leela D, dude. I guess fucking, you know, people don't like to fucking uh, come and have their fucking feelings read and fucking possibly talked about on YouTube, dude. I guess people don't fucking like that shit, yo. Can you fucking believe that shit, friends? Can you motherfucking believe that shit, dude? Uh, but yeah, so okay, that fucking happened, friends. And I freaking was going to go, so I was going to go to the bank yesterday, friends. I was going to go to the motherfucking bank yesterday and freaking, um, to get a new debit card, friends. Because I freaking, um, the one that I have expired last month. I don't know what the fuck I did with the other one that they gave me, dude. So I was going to go to the bank and fucking, uh, do that. And I was like, I got a fucking flat tire. You goddamn kidding me? So clearly, friends, clearly there's some fucking uh, big blessings around the fucking corner, dude, for Leela D. There's a fucking, there's a tortoise out there somewhere, friends. There's a tortoise out there trying to fucking sneak up on me with some goddamn treasure, trying to fucking sneak and move in goddamn silence, probably under a fucking spotlight or whatever, friends. Probably got all kinds of motherfuckers watching them, dude. Uh, hold up, friends. But yeah, sometimes, friends, if you're going to be blessed big, yo, the universe fucking, uh, it pours a little shit on you, friends, to see if you keep, see if you can keep doing, you know, motherfucking what, friends, if you can keep motherfucking smiling, dudes, and strangely, friends, oddly, I'm not going to fucking lie, I mean, Lula D's a little fucking crazy, friends, a little goddamn crazy, dude, but when friggin', uh, Officer Harris came over that day and told me about that shit, about the fucking, uh, youth and wreck, I felt like a weird sense of fucking, uh, like, calm and ease come over me friends like common motherfucking ease dude I didn't lose my fucking shit over it friends didn't lose my goddamn shit over it ain't like I haven't fucking uh you know dealt with them or whatever friends but 
Uh, sometimes friends, you know, they just fucking, uh, sometimes that's a way to know if you're going to be blessed big, dude, if you're fucking, like, if you're not living in alignment, friends, if you're fucking, uh, you know, if you're doing a bunch of fucking shady shit, basically shit that's fucking whatever, talking shit about the Backstreet Boys or Ed Sheeran or Britney Spears or whatever, dude, um, you know, then probably the Lord might fucking throw some shit on your friends, especially if you're talking shit about, you know, who friends about, you know, motherfucking who do the true Kings of Kings, yo. <laughs> uh, but yeah, sometimes friends fucking, you know, if you do, if you're living out of alignment, of course there's going to be fucking shit happening to you. But if you're living in alignment friends and fucking, uh, shit should otherwise be going well, yo, then fucking, uh, that's a little fucking hint, dude. Uh, but I almost came on here last night and freaking um, almost came on and did a live, friends. I was going to joke around, friends, about freaking um, someone out there, friends, someone out there fucking um, using black magic or fucking voodoo or whatever to fucking uh, pray against my little angel babies, friends, to pray against my little motherfucking angel babies. Uh, I was listening to a motherfucking, I was going to say that, but I ended up just fucking, um, I guess just laying around fucking laughing with one of my friends while laughing with one of my fucking friends, dude, laughing at the fact that they couldn't stop thinking about me and motherfucking smiling, friends, motherfucking smiling, dude. But yeah, anyway, I fucking uh, ended up listening to some tarot videos, friends, and there was one who was like, you got some bitch out there praying against your children, yo, you got some bitch out there praying against your children, dude. In that same video, she was talking about someone having a fucking uh, sexually transmitted demon, dude, a fucking demon, yo. But yeah, pretty motherfucking funny, dude. Wow, almost seven fucking minutes, dude, seven fucking minutes, well, all right. What the fuck, uh, what's this shit say, dude? This card's been coming out a lot lately, friends. A fucking three of wands, dude. But, all right, friend. Oh, yeah, my twin flame. Like, one of my, the one that I'm lying about, friends. This is his favorite shirt, dude. I'm pretty goddamn sure. I know he loves this one, friends. I'm being greedy today, friends. I got both my motherfucking necklaces on, dude. I'm all fucking, uh, I'm all decked out for you guys today, dude. Uh, but all right, someone's fucking holding on to something, refusing to fucking surrender to the goddamn divine friends, being motherfucking greedy, having a lack mindset. You guys know what this goddamn card is, yo. Someone's fucking hanging on to something, dude. Something that doesn't seem fucking fair, yo. Something that doesn't seem motherfucking fair, dude. Uh, maybe some fucking, uh, injustice that, ah, fucking, whatever, friends, you guys already goddamn know, yo. All right, well, fucking, uh, we got the three of wands in the reverse, yo. So someone's fucking holding on to something that doesn't goddamn seem fair. Maybe didn't go as fucking planned, was fucking expecting some shit to happen after a fucking long wait, and it didn't, didn't motherfucking happen, dude. Uh, something that fucking, holding on to something that makes them goddamn sad, friends, makes them motherfucking sad, but you know what happens eventually, dude, you know what happens eventually, yo, maybe someone's fucking, uh, maybe someone's sad about someone else's fucking success, dude, all do, doing you know what, friends, all up in their motherfucking head, dude, focusing on the lack, freaking maybe turning their back on their fucking, you, you know what, friends, you know how that shit fucking feels, dude, you know how that shit fucking feels, yo, makes you goddamn sad, oh, all right, fucking, I think we get the story, friends, I think we get the fucking picture, yo, I mean, I don't know what to motherfucking say, friends. I don't know what to motherfucking say. Some shit doesn't seem goddamn fair, friends. But freaking, uh, I'm just going to leave it at that, friends. I'm just going to leave it at that. You know what happens eventually, friends. You know what to motherfucking focus on. If someone fucking dumps your cup out, friends, then fucking, like I said, don't go out fucking uh, asking other people to pour in that shit. Put some fucking pentacles in there or whatever. Pour that shit into your motherfucking self, friends. That's it. Hopefully we're all learning fucking uh, valuable lessons, friends. Valuable motherfucking lessons, dude. Friggin' love you guys.